in here. I have my latigos prepared here. And notice how I had them come out of there. Check it out. Now, if this is a real bronchy, scared colt, I would just go on with it. But I want to show you how I kind of pack these latigos. And you'll find any time you'll see me or see my tack, it's all pretty much prepared, neatly, ready to go. So I'll, I'll pack my latigo like that, and I'll change this latigo about every year. Hey, they wear out. Your life's riding on this. And so see how I have it knotted up there. More importantly, you'll see when I go to pull this, when I get my, uh, you guys can all kind of see the monitors there, um, I can get my girth, and I can just put the end right through here, and in one pull, I can pull everything through in one simple pull, okay? Now, then again, this is this first saddling here, so I want to go ahead and not commit myself here, but notice how I'm kind of putting a little pressure on there. Now, this horse kind of started blowing up there with that little bit of pressure. I could basically abort the scenario and get out of trouble. There's a spot, though, if I take a wrap around there, and I put that much pressure on there, and they would jump on by me, it could slip under their belly, and I'd be in a good wreck. And so notice any time I'm just getting her prepared for this claustrophobic feeling that she's going to feel here. See that there? Couldn't handle that. I want to take that additional wrap. Because right now, if things went south, and she zigged, and I zagged, and she bolted, it would kick loose. The last thing I want to do is have it on there where it would commit to staying there, then it'd be under her belly, and then, then now you're worse off. So now I'm going to go ahead and commit myself to taking an additional wrap here. A lot of times I'll also put baby powder on these latigos so there's no pulling sensation where I could actually make pull some hair. These young little babies are very, very sensitive. And so you see my, I'm taking my second wrap. Okay, right now, if she blew up, I'd be in trouble. That saddle can go under her belly, and I'm looking for, please don't move. Please don't get scared. Okay. I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm out of trouble. You're saying you didn't see nothing. This horse is just fine. Okay. It's what happens after what happens happens. <laughs> and sometimes you get to learn what happens before what happens happens to start, stop getting yourself in trouble. I'm going to get myself committed here. I'm actually watching the breath pattern there. On the, there's an inhale. There's an exhale. There's an inhale. There's an exhale. I took it on the exhale. There's the inhale, there's the exhale. I'm in good shape, she's getting scared. I'm gonna see if I can shut her down. She's feeling that trapping sensation for the first time. The last, I'm in trouble there, I wanna shut her down again. She's feeling like a predator on her back now. She can make a quarter mile run with no thought, believe it or not. So I'm doing my best to stay out of trouble here and uh, I'll tie this off this way I don't tie a big square knot underneath there. I have this designed with one pull. I can actually pull this off. And this knot will stay, and it's less intrusive. But one time, I can jerk that right off for safety. I don't like that big old knot that we've been tied, you know, taught to tie. Hey, our first saddling. Hey, this, this laddie goes too long, so I'll come over this side here so she doesn't have the potential of stepping on it. Okay, our first saddling. Let's see if I can get her to move around the corral here.